There's nothing more important, in my opinion, for the pres preservation of humanity than theoretical physics. Yeah, you think it's actually culturally relevant to the survival of a of a society? If so, how did we do without it? You know, until the 1940s or so, 1930s. It's it's necessary for the survival of humanity for a couple of different reasons, which, which have to be pulled apart. The first of which is theoretical physics is unique in the sense that it somehow trains the pure mental facility and the gritty mental facility to work together like nothing else we've ever discovered. I'm not saying it's not, it's not possible to duplicate it again, but even relative to mathematicians who I could make an argument might even be smarter in a certain kind of technical sense. The power of the hybrid vig vigor of pure cleanliness and pure grit uh, produced something where we never knew that the human mind was capable of those flights as we've seen in theoretical physics. So I really believe that if you wanted to talk about, you know, the gym that trains bodies to be at their peak, well, for the mind, that's theoretical physics, the fundamental physics at that. That's the dojo, all right. It's the dojo. And the idea that you get, like, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna say this the horrible way. If China was smart, they go and buy the Institute for Advanced Study. They just buy out all those guys. If I were China, I would pay each of those guys, $10 million a year have a deal. And the fact that we wouldn't bid that up is because we're idiots. Oh.